With Autodesk Tandem, project teams can contribute to a single digital hub by capturing required data for a digital handover. Given this will play out over the course of design, installation, and commissioning, we expect there to be a variety of ways team members will interact with Tandem. Once a facility template has been specified, we can begin mapping asset types. When a classification is assigned, the associated parameters will be applied. Once we have allocated a value for any of these parameters, the asset is now considered a tagged asset and will count toward the total tagged asset limits of your subscription. Capturing asset data can be accomplished in several ways. First, by interacting directly with the viewer, you can select assets and capture data using the Properties panel. Second, working with the inventory allows you to view and work with a broader data set displaying a line item for each asset matching the currently applied filters. The inventory allows for typical table style interaction like fill down, copy and paste, and filtering by column values. In the case that you prefer to work with this data set within Excel, you have the option of exporting an Excel file and importing any changes or additions made. Lastly, for data that is already included in your Revit files, you have the option of mapping these values to the associated parameter sets. At any point, you can review the total count of tagged assets within a facility or review totals across your portfolio under the Usage tab or our Manage page.